I think my last local fight had like three, four hundred people. And then myself and my little family, we went to Bali and I just got a call from someone saying the UFC is coming into Australia. The service wasn't quite good there, it kept breaking up. So I was like, UFC and then something. And then next thing you knew, there was an email and I tested the email as a contract. And I was, I was like, man, I, I was the kid from Evandale. I only had three pro fights at the time, but my next fight had 60,000 people. Those things you just see in the movies, eh, or on TV shows, places like Las Vegas and New York, Madison Square Garden, things that are out of your reach, you think, and then you grow up, you get these opportunities, man, and you um, take it with two hands. It doesn't take until I come home, back to Auckland, until I realise how far I've come along, and just real grateful, you know. So right now we're in uh, Marist Saints here in Mount Albert. I played footy here and won a couple of premierships here. It's a few kilos ago. <laughs> we won it that year. Man, was some good players. I learned a lot of lessons here about, you know, how to, be, how to be a man and be responsible. This place is close to my heart. Yeah, we see fellas like this, you know, it was a young Sonny Bill, during rope party. So now, so I know you're getting old, man. <laughs> Come here, seeing all the years and that. Yeah, my footy career, I ended up signing to the Melbourne Storm and was in their juniors. I think I watched too many Monty Beefen films. I took up the wrong uh, skills that he displayed on the field. <laughs> One of my mates at work was just like, man, you should try to give this fighting stuff. And I was like, man, I know about fighting. Don't you worry. The first class was uh, sparring and this guy started kicking my leg and I was like, holy, what's this? And kind of found my passion for fighting after that. I would just have an amateur fight, I had another fight, had another fight, and I was like, man, I'm pretty good at this. Those goals just kept getting bigger, and next thing you knew, I was fighting in uh, the UFC. Fighting was always in my blood. My grandfather was a fighter, my uncles were fighters. My older brother is uh, my head trainer for my career, and my younger brother is a fighter as well in the UFC. Monday to Saturday, we train. Monday to Friday is uh, 5.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and uh, 4.30 p.m. we train. We spar three times a week. The wrestling and the striking alters with uh, each fighter, but um, that's usually like the blueprint. I self-reflect for some motivation. Seeing where I came from, that's some dedication. Sunday, you know, it's God's day, so we rest, and then uh, it's like that for 12 weeks until the fight. The hardest experience that I've ever faced was probably like, um, one camp, I, you know, I lost a child and and I still had to get ready for my fight, so you got to remember that we're also other people rather than um, fighters outside the game. I'm my father, you know, I'm a partner. I got to make sure that I give my time to them too and make sure my, my, my kids are there. Social media and trolls, I mean, it means nothing, you know what I mean? It's all that stuff that's close to you that, that means it, everything. So I'm always massive. I think for now, that's kind of my responsibility for the next generation, you know, to know that they, they can be proud of where they come from. Embrace it all, you know what I mean? Like, I remember before, I used to be kind of shy about that stuff when I was growing up, but now I'm just like full 685 kind of thing, and I just hope that the young ones out there, they kind of get inspired, like how I was inspired when David Tua was fighting. Some will stop when David Tua fought, and um, I hope to just have that same kind of effect. Yeah, they call me bad, man. I, I never put on myself, but people, they'll see me out in public like, man, you're not that bad. I know what they're talking about, but in the ring, man, I, I go for that, that KO and they walk off and then they realize why. Nice shot. Good shot. I come from resiliency, but I always stick close to that. I know my calling was for great things. I really want to solidify myself as a contender. Everything else will fall into place, but if I focus on my fighting and Focus on my family, man, I'll... the sky's the limit.